Hey guys, uh, today we are going to learn about uh, PowerPoint presentation. So this is just like a normal person, uh, PowerPoint presentation only. But we, uh, I'm just going to tell you some more tips and tricks which you are going to use. And uh, we are going to use this PowerPoint presentation, the same Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, whichever we are using in our device. The same thing, we are going it to use it online. Okay, so online in the cases, so we are going to use office.com. Okay, so you can use any uh, presentation um, uh, softwares like uh, Google Slides. Okay, so so many portals are available. Google Slides, Slides Corner, but you can use it in. Uh, you can use anything, uh, you, whatever you want. Okay, the options are same. But today I'm going to use uh, Office.com, Microsoft Office. So what is the difference? Mostly we'll be having a normal uh, old version of Microsoft PowerPoint, like 2010, 2007 in those cases. Okay, we are going to uh, use the latest version of Microsoft PowerPoint here when you use it online. Okay, so for this you have to go for Office.com. So that is the name of the website, office.com. Okay. So uh, for this first thing is you need a Microsoft account. Okay. You need a Microsoft account, uh, login ID and password for this. If you don't have one, create it. Okay. So already I have a Microsoft account and already I signed in, in this. So I'm just opening Microsoft account. Okay. So office.com initially it will ask you to sign in with your Microsoft ID and password. So you have to log in with your Microsoft ID and password. So here you can see all the apps, whichever is linked with Microsoft account. Okay. So if you take Google, we have Google drive, Google photos, Google maps, so many things, right? So in the same way, even in Microsoft, we have so many apps here. Okay. As we, uh, Android is from Google, Android supports, um, Google Play stores, all these things. So we are just using all the apps only with, uh, Google. So even Microsoft is having so many apps, same kind of apps here. Okay. So I always prefer Microsoft PowerPoint than Google Slide because, uh, PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint has so many options than Google Slides. Okay. So this is PowerPoint homepage. So I just opened a PowerPoint uh, app. So here is PowerPoint homepage. So here are the templates. A uh, few uh, templates will be listed and whichever we have done already, all the things will be listed. So all the PowerPoint. Now, if you want more themes, you just click on more themes. If you want more designs. So uh, here we have to select the theme first. Why when you are doing it online, you have to select the theme first. So if you want anything from this, you can go here. But my suggestion is select a blank presentation and let Microsoft AI to um, to, uh, to uh, decide what design uh, can be given for that particular slide. OK, so you can select anything from this. No issues at all. Yes, I'm just going to select new blank presentation. So we'll get a new PowerPoint page. So just like a normal PowerPoint window, we'll get online window, online PowerPoint window. Okay. So let it get loaded. Right. So from here, our normal PowerPoint window is starting, starts from here. Okay. So just looking like a normal uh, systems PowerPoint window. So as usual, we have file. So under file, we have so, uh, all the options like new, open, rename, save a copy, all these things. And then we have home option. Okay. Under home, we have uh, clipboard, delete options, slides, fonts, uh, design, font uh, formatting options, then paragraph formatting options, then drawing options, all these things. And then under insert, so you can insert table, a new slide, picture, shapes, icons, smart art, and even online videos. So this I'll tell you how to insert online videos later. And then we have design. So the um, designs, whichever we have seen in that first page, that will not get appear here. We'll get a new set of designs over here. Okay. So even from here, we can select background design. Okay. And then variance. So this is color variance. Okay. So based on the design you are selecting, the color variance will be uh, displayed uh, for you. Then slide size. So always select widescreen. Okay. So what is the difference between standard and widescreen? Uh, standard will cover only the half part of your look at the screen so it will cover only the half part i mean center part of your screen okay so here we'll get all the space wasted it will get wasted and when uh, when your students are uh, looking into in, in your mobile the same powerpoint presentation they can see a miniature view of your slide okay so only when you use it 
as a wider range they can see the full screen view of your slide okay so it's better always use the uh, white screen okay and then format background so if you want to give a particular color for your uh, background instead of giving any designs you can select this then here it is the designer okay so if the design is not available at your right side you just click on the designer under design tab click on the designer oh, look at this so we are getting so many background designs okay uh, when we check the templates we were not uh, we didn't see all these uh, designs okay so always i suggest you to select designs from this okay so based on our topic we can select it okay so look at uh, look at the changes now let me type like a uh, number system okay i'm just typing my topic of this uh, powerpoint as number system okay look at the right side okay it is loading and now you can see we have got a new set of designs okay so you can see see uh, so first we just had a normal like a uh, normal uh, uh, slide backgrounds okay but here it is based on the text what you type so this is what the use of microsoft ai okay so whichever you want we can select it say look at the background it is so good okay always uh, of course ai uh, will give you a good suggestion than you than us okay so just select this whichever you want okay so look at this background it has some numbers right so i suggest you to select from this okay so that is always better and using this you can give different um, slide background for each and every slide okay and um I'm just going to insert a new slide so you can go to insert and select new slide or you can just click here on the slide preview and press enter key you will get a new slide okay so this is another way of getting a new slide now look at the design it is changing okay suppose if you are going to teach um, like a uh, number system in the sense like uh, integer okay Look at the design that's changing okay so based on the content which we are typing this the background the side slide background will change always so it will give you a better design so that um, we can get a good design in this okay so the other thing the important thing is like um, if you want to insert any online video okay so if you want to insert any online videos you don't need to go to a, a, you don't need to download any uh, video from youtube okay so we have to search for the youtube link then we have to search for a good youtube downloader we have to download that software in our mobile and then we have to like we have to download it again it uh, even while watching the youtube video it is we are taking some um, data right so when you are playing that i mean when you are downloading that video also it will some it will take some data so to avoid all this uh, we can play the online video directly here okay so just go to youtube and select let it get loaded just a minute Okay, so I'm just going to type number system. So it is searching the related content for me. So here are the videos in number system. Okay, so yes, so which way we want, we can select. I'm just going to type select this just for an example. Okay, so just copy this link okay you can come to your presentation right just right click and select paste okay and in most of the system it will not allow you to use right click option in online so just use control v right so sometimes when you are using it in the um, layout it will give you only the uh, a link so i'm just clicking outside now i'm pasting it right so in this video only link is available in some cases if the video is with good quality and uh, everything is fine means they you will get a 
the first screen of the uh, video automatically over here. So how it is looking like this? In the same way, you can see that particular video over here. Okay. In this, video, so in this, this is not working. Let me close this window. So let's go. I'm just coming back again. So when you are playing it, you no need to uh, download it. You can di uh, directly get it from the YouTube. So uh, one important thing is you need an online connection, internet connection when you are playing your PowerPoint slide. Okay. And then um, animations and transitions. So in this case, is go here transition. So we have two different types of uh, graphics over here: transitions and animations. So transitions is nothing but uh, giving uh, graphics to your background slide. So this is applied only for the slide, okay? And animations is for the text and the objects which we are using inside the slide, okay? So now you can see I'm just selecting it. So I'm just getting uh, so many options here, okay? So just select whichever you want, okay? So that's it and here we have some drawing tools so if you want to change the star size, size style anything you can change it and then effect so as one object or when you're having multiple lines you can do this okay and then reorder animation so this these are all for the objects inside the slide okay and transition is for the slide okay so whichever you want you can select and if you click apply to all, the same transition effect will be applied to all the slides. How much of slides you have, it will be applied for all the slides over here, right? So, uh, and then to insert uh, shapes, pictures, you can go to pictures. So, here are uh, four options are given here. This device, which means you can insert a, a picture from the device. Uh, whichever is available in your system and then OneDrive. OneDrive is, OneDrive is a cloud-based technology so it is just like your uh, Google Drive okay so if you want to insert pictures from your uh, Microsoft mobile like Nokia you can use it uh, suppose if you are using in a um, uh, Microsoft based uh, Windows operating system you can use again this one and then uh, stock images so that is the images available in the system and then Bing pictures so this Bing is nothing but a search engine just like google google search engine right so in google however we are searching in google in the same way we can search over here number system and just typing number system so i'll get some of the pictures over here so this is just like inserting a picture directly from the website okay suppose if you want to give any animated image you can go for gif so this is an important uh, thing like uh, students will get um, like uh, they will get impressed and they'll be uh, watching it very seriously because it will it is like an animated images. Okay, the same uh, images, but it is animated. Okay, so when you uh, when you are using a uh, logic gauge circuit, so that can be used over here. Actually, GIF images are available um, in all the cases. Like if you take science, you can get it for all the topics, GIF images. Okay, so just select whichever you want and then uh, you can insert number of pictures over here. Okay, so whichever you want to just select it and click on insert. So this is inserting the image directly from the internet. Look at this. Okay, so I didn't do any copy paste. I didn't download this image, all these things. I just got it okay suppose if you want to uh, move this to first slide to second slide just click from here drag it and leave it over here it will come or you can just do cut paste cut it go here and do paste option so it will come over here and then the other one cut it because in the title slide of course we don't want any pictures so now you can see whenever I'm typing some text or whenever I'm placing some picture, my designs are changing over here. Okay, so you can change the design and after even after uh, the designs are being set, if you want to change the color, okay, sometimes we like the design but we don't like the color. So even in those cases, you can go to design and here you can you are having the variance. Okay, so I don't have colors here, so the variants are not coming. So I'm just going here. Okay. You can go here and you can select solid fill okay and you can select even picture from the file so that particular picture will be applied as a background to this particular slide okay so now you can see the first slide with different background and the second slide with different background now i'm going to play this 
okay so let me play the slideshow so for this as usual we have to go to um, view and then we have to click from beginning so i just wanted to say some shortcuts for this so if you want to play a downloaded a ppt which means which, which is available in your system uh, when you are playing it from the beginning just press f5 f5 is the shortcut key okay uh, don't press f1 5 so function key f5 the first uh, row key in, which is present in the first row of the keyboard so f5 is a shortcut key to play your ppt from the beginning okay so if you want to play it from the current slide okay suppose i'm there in the second slide i just wanted to play this from the second slide you don't need to go and search for this option which is available in the menu bar you just press shift and f5 okay so if you press shift f5 uh, just wait it is waiting okay this is online so it is just getting refreshed i'll just try pressing control f5 so we'll get it from that we should get it okay so i uh, just try it in the offline uh, ppt okay so um, uh, the shortcut key for playing it from the current slide it is uh, in some systems it is shift f5 and in some systems it, it is control and f5 okay so just try that and then um, uh, you can use uh, shapes okay um, so many extra shapes are available than your normal ppt okay and the smart art so this smart art can be used to insert like um, in science we have like food cycle and then food pyramid okay so whatever it is all for all these things you can insert it over here uh, using the smart art okay so we have so many options okay so this you can use it okay and then the important thing is how to insert audio okay so inserting audio is not available here as we have uh, some uh, come i mean uh, synchronization issue issues but here you can dictate it okay so like uh, you can record your own audio so that can be then you can record your audio but you cannot insert a uh, uh, audio which is already recorded okay so directly you can click on dictate and as we are using it in the browser it will give it will ask you for the permission okay so now you can see it is getting recorded okay we are uh, seeing this recording button over here it is getting recorded okay so once you finish you can go here and you can stop it okay that's it so now you can see only the microphone is switched on not that it is not getting recorded okay so, and that will be saved automatically when you are playing it you can see okay and the final step how to download this ppt okay so uh, it is free of course you don't need to pay anything so just go to file menu you will get these options okay go to download as and we have so many options like download a copy of ppt download the same ppt as pdf download as odp download as images so download as images what it means is like each and every slide in your ppt will get downloaded as an image but you have to download it one by one we have a, a backdrop over here like we have to download it one by one a single slide will be downloaded as an image okay so when you're trying for banner designing and if you're okay with ppt you can uh, design your banner over here and even you can uh, like uh, you can download that as an image so i'm just going to download this as a copy i mean I would, i'm just going to download this as a ppt now the saying your presentation is ready download so here is my download button i mean uh, my file is getting ready so i'm just clicking on it so that whenever the download gets completed it will get download i mean it will get open okay the download gets completed now we are going to see our presentation which is being downloaded in our system uh, this i have just already uh, done opened in my system so it is opening just a second uh, my system is a little bit slow so just bear with me so always go with white screen uh, slides so that students will be able to see uh, the full view of the screen uh, the slide they won't uh, miss anything like yes so here is our number system ppt 
which got downloaded okay so if you are not comfortable with that animations and transitions you can do it even here you can make any changes whichever you want and on more suggestion which i am giving us always give a footer i mean insert footer add footer okay so just type uh, the name of the chapter number system and then with your name as it is purely your, your own work always add this as a footer your name and the name of the lesson so that all the slides will get this footer automatically okay so just arrange it to the bottom or wherever you want this is based on your slide and the content okay so let me play this now i'm just pressing f5 okay i'm just getting it look at the screen now the full screen is being occupied okay so no empty parts nothing over here and one more uh, a tip which i'm giving us like we have some options over here okay so this is present this is available in all the ppt versions okay uh, this can be done even in your normal ppt which is there in your system okay so just click on this pen option so this arrow is used to go back to the previous slide and this arrow is for the next slide and these are the options click on the pen option so here we have arrow arrow is normal your mouse pointer okay ball point pen so that will convert your mouse pointer into pen look at this and then we have felt tip pen okay so look at the difference then we have highlighter which is used to highlight any part of your uh, screen okay and then we have ink color so using this you can change the color of the ink look at this okay then we have an option like eraser which is used to erase the annotated the screen annotations uh, whichever we scribbled on the screen okay erase all ink on the slide so this can be done when you are with many uh, annotations okay and then arrow options so this this is very much useful useful when you are doing it uh, when you are uh, teaching online okay so no need to download any special canvas features for this and i am just going to erase so all link okay that's not working okay okay so now erase all link okay so this is very much useful okay so now i think i'm done with all the options so if you have any doubts and if you want to uh, add anything extra in this uh, just uh, give me in the comment box and i'm always ready to reply for your comments uh, thank you guys uh, happy learning